In recent weeks, scientists in the Philippines have been intently watching the Taal volcano as it produced a third series of volcanic explosions. Thus, because so much attention was given to Taal, we were quite surprised when another nearby volcano erupted. On November 30th at 12.09 p.m. local time, an explosive eruption occurred at the famed Mount Pinatubo volcano. This eruption lasted for four minutes and sent a plume of ash 14,300 meters or 44,000 feet into the atmosphere. While this occurred, Philippines Air Asia Captain Al Hess Las Marias snapped some photos from the cockpit. Note how the ash plume is mostly white instead of the usual gray color large eruption plumes are. This indicates that very little ash is in the plume and that it is almost completely water vapor. Because of this surprise eruption, although there is not yet an official evacuation order, I would recommend a 3 km evacuation radius at this time. So, what will happen next to Mount Pinatubo? Will there be another caldera forming eruption similar to what was experienced in 1991? This video will answer these two questions and discuss this unexpected eruption. Mount Pinatubo can be found on the island of Luzon in the central western Philippines. Specifically, it is 90 kilometers northwest of Manila. From satellite, Mount Pinatubo is quite easy to spot as there are a series of great pyroclastic flow and lahar deposits which radiate outwards from its summit. These were in place during the 1991 eruption of Mount Pinatubo, which caused the 1,745 meter tall volcano to collapse downwards to a height of 1,486 meters, forming a 2.5 kilometer wide caldera. In total, this eruption ejected 13 cubic kilometers of volcanic rock, marking it as the largest volcanic eruption in the Philippines of the last 5,000 years. Pyroclastic flows from this eruption reached up to 16 kilometers distant, destroying everything in their path. This major eruption was only the latest of several large volume eruptions Pinatubo has produced. Pinatubo has a long term eruptive cycle, which is important in order to understand the context of the latest eruption. First, a very long period of dormancy occurs, lasting between 500 and 3000 years in length. This dormancy is interrupted by a large explosive eruption, such as what occurred in 1991. For a period of several hundred years following the major eruption, a combination of small phreatic and lava dome forming eruptions occur at the volcano, thus largely filling in any craters or calderas which once existed. Since a caldera forming eruption occurred a mere 30 years ago, what was just witnessed was one of those small phreatic eruptions to be expected in the period following a major eruption. Phreatic eruptions occur when underground magma slowly heats surrounding rock, causing any nearby groundwater to flash to steam. Eventually, this steam becomes overpressurized and takes up more space than the rock containing it, resulting in an explosive eruption. The eruption which occurred today was purely phreatic as it did not contain any small fragments of lava, indicating that the source of magma which caused the eruption is still quite deep. In the next several days to weeks, more similarly sized phreatic eruptions should be expected, meaning that the overall volcano should be closed off to the public for some time. Although not truly a certainty, there is a slight possibility that the magma which triggered this latest eruption could erupt into the caldera lake and begin to build a new lava dome. However, the current level of volcanic earthquakes and sulfur dioxide gas is insufficient to suggest an imminent magmatic eruption. For those of you who are still worried about this volcano, here is some greater context. One way to determine how much magma is present is based on the amount of sulfur dioxide gas it emits. Before the climax of the major eruption in 1991, these levels were more than 13,000 tons per day. In comparison, those levels of sulfur dioxide are a mere 341 tons per day right now. While another explosive eruption is quite likely, a major eruption is not expected at this time. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank my new patron Scott Bruce for supporting this channel.